Hello, hello again and welcome to another video. Welcome back to the channel today and I hope you're having a good day on this really very special Saturday, November the 11th, 2023. Of course, over here in the UK, it is Remembrance Day today um, with Remembrance Sunday following on tomorrow. But I just want to pause before we do anything else and just say a huge thank you to our service men and women of Great Britain and around the world um, who gave their time who gave their lives um, so that we could make YouTube videos, that we could run our model railways in freedom and that we could do the things that we do today. And sometimes you forget to say thank you to these brave men and women who gave their time and their lives to, to help us to be free. So today I honor my own grandfather, my late grandfather, Arthur Ernest King, um, who fought in the Rifle Regiment, um, served in the Second World War, um, in the, in the campaigns in Africa and lastly in Italy um, and just really was um, a very, very great man and sadly he's no longer with us today and I do miss him and certainly think about him today um, when he served in the Second World War. So I just wanted to honour my grandfather today and also everybody else's family members out there that served in the Second World War. And if you yourself have served in one of the armed forces in any of the campaigns um, we've had recently or during the World War II, if you're watching this, um, two words to you. Thank you. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll get some trains running. So on track one today, um, here's a locomotive we don't normally see on the layout, but I thought I'll get it going now. And this is a great eastern locomotive, straight out of Stratford Thread. Um, it's a Gresley K3. <clears throat> and this is the Backman version. It's weathered, but I love it because it's a Stratford engine. And it's hauling some nice great eastern ex-Gresley coaches behind it as well. Typically, you would have seen this train on the suburban services out of London, Liverpool Street in the 19, early 19 to mid 1950s, um, London, Liverpool Street towards Norwich. Great, great loco. And this one hardly runs. So today it's its turn to be liberated from its box and out on the railway today. And I think today we'll get the permanent way train out. We've got a 1975 Airfix loco. If you remember last weekend we did, or the last video, um, we did an Airfix loco running. And this one is another Airfix in my collection. This is the Class 31 um, <clears throat> diesel in British Railways Green. And this is what this is the one that I actually I took an airbrush and gave several coats of um, Humbrol Clear varnish product on and I think it makes it look really sort of shiny and nice straight out of the works and definitely it's brand spanking new at Stratford. So here we go, let's bring this out of the shed and get this beast on the move, shall we?
Okay, coming round now, we've got the Class 47 in 1960s two-tone green. Coupled up to brake van, the breakdown crane, a couple of flat wagons with some track on, and some peewee items. And at the rear is this lovely Hornby Triang breakdown coach. This was actually manufactured by Hornby Triang in between 1971 and 1973. And it's a really stunning, lovely item, I think. That X Thompson coach, which doubles now as the brake van, which it is the brake van um, breakdown. Okay, so coming round now, we've got the Class 47 in 1960s two-tone green. There she comes. And she's hauling the breakdown crane today. She's got the brake van, the breakdown crane, a couple of flat wagons with some track on, some PY items at the back. This lovely X Thompson uh, breakdown gang coach, which is a Hornby Triangle item that was made and manufactured in Margate between 1971 to 73. And as you can see, that really does complete the 19, early 1960s breakdown picture. So we've got the service to Shenfield being held in platform number two, just waiting for this breakdown train to go through. It's being held in the loop in platform two, as we can see, here she comes. And that's the beauty of having a passing loop because you can store trains there, as you can see. And there she goes.
Okay, I just spent a little bit of time tidying up and putting things away back in the boxes, but I think I like to have this one as light engine. This is really one of my favorite engines, as I've said before. It's the 4MT. And she's running bunker first now. And it also is a, is a purposeful exercise because it gives the motor and gears even wear in opposite direction. And you keep the, the thing in running order so it can run backwards and forwards, not just one direction all the time. So it's a good way to prove and test everything is lubed up and doing what it should. It's really in interesting actually, because quite a number of these um, Fairburn tank engines were actually at Plowstow Shed in East London as part of the London, Tilbury and South, South, South End Railway, the LTNS. I've said it before. But good engines, very good engines indeed. Not just model wise, but in real life, these are good engines. Running light back to the shed. What a cracker. As Frank Carson used to say, it's a cracker. Those of you that remember who Frank Carson was, he was an Irish comedian. Okay, everybody, well, I'm afraid to say that's the end of the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I thought I'd finish off with a really famous loco. Of course, it's Flying Scotsman, and it being its anniversary um, this year, why not? So this is Flying Scotsman as it was in um, 1926, um, when it actually was running on the London North Eastern Railway metals. And obviously a firm Hornby favorite if you're into collecting Hornby trains. This is definitely a loco you need or will have in your collection. And I've got some Hornby Teak coaches obviously that go with it, which is the, the Flying Scotsman coaches. They obviously come with the set or you can buy separately. I bought mine separately. And believe it or not, um, Flying Scotsman was the first locomotive model wise. Um, well, second actually that I got um, when I was about, I think I was about 11, 11 or 12. My 11th or 12th birthday, I got one of these, not this one, um, but the one that I had was a tender drive. This is a loco drive version. And I remember getting that for my birthday from a shop called The Engine Shed, where I used to live in Leightonstone. And I was mightily impressed. And today it's still a firm favorite. I think so anyway, it's a good looking engine. Of course, being an A3. My um, Hornby Teak coaches, as you can see, that are going behind it now, I've actually given these about three or four coats of Humbrol clear gloss model varnish to give them a bit more sparkle. I did the windows and all the roof and bodywork and what have you, so I think they look a bit better. Let me just turn the light out a little bit, put the illuminations on. And also you'll be able to see the blowing firebox that I fitted to this model.
Right. Bring it to a stop over there. That is it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a lovely rest of your weekend. And I shall see you very soon in the next video. Again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And stay safe and happy modelling. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.